Yo, 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 what is up guys? My name is Rhino and we're back for another video. So yes, we are back for the ranking video. So I'm gonna try now that Halloween's come to an end, I'm gonna try and do a new ranking video every week, something different. If you guys have any ideas for a ranking video, either suggest it in the comments or maybe join my Discord server where there are details for my upcoming fashion show as well as a spot where you can submit unpopular opinions as well as video suggestions and just talk, you know, chill, chat, get along, make new friends, you know. That's just what my Discord's about. So join it if you haven't. I'm going to start promoting it more. Anyways, for this video, it is November 1st as I'm recording this, so Halloween has officially come to an end, and we have gotten all the Fort Nightmare skins of this year. So I decided, why not recap on all the Fort Nightmare skins we've got 2017, 18, 19, as well as this year, and rank them all from worst to best. Because I must say, I have said before in the past that Halloween skins are some of my favorite skins, and I still stand by that even more so now than I did before Halloween. Because... I think every year the Halloween skins have gotten better and better. 2018 had some solid skins. 2019 was some great skins. And I didn't know how they were going to top it this year. But they did. And we had some amazing Halloween skins this season, I would say. Some really good ones. Not all of them are great, I would say. And yes, some of them may be a bit lazy and not so original. But I think even in a lot of the ones that weren't so original, I still think they did a good job for some of them. And the ones they did, that were original, they knocked it out of the park for them. So we're going to recap on all the old Halloween skins, as well as the new ones, and we're going to rank them all from worst to best. So, before we get into it, guys, my creator code is RhinoGamingYT. Um, if you want to use my creator code, it's RhinoGamingYT. You don't have to, it's not a requirement, but it's there if you want to use it, and it'll be much appreciated. Thank you, guys, and thank you so much for your support during this Halloween. We did combo videos for every single one of the new Halloween skins, so now it's time to rank them. And yes, I'm not just basing this off how good, I, how good the skin itself is, I'm also basing it off how good it is as a Halloween skin. So for example, there might be some skins here that skins that I absolutely love that fell quite a bit when making this list, fell down the list more than I wanted to. But in the end, I just I guess I had to base it off how good it is as a Halloween skin, how creative it is, how efficient it is, how scary it is sometimes, you know? I put all these things into requirements. So the so the methodology added to this list you might find a little interesting, like there might be some placements, because it was very hard to make this list. Beyond the top 25 spot, I think there are some amazing Halloween skins in the top 25, and there are 51 Halloween skins here, so half of them I think are great. So, without further ado, let's begin, and as we're going through this, you guys will see what I think of some of these Halloween skins, and you'll know how hard it was to make this list. Okay, so starting off with number 51 spot for the worst Halloween skin, so... Basically, the worst skin of my favorite festive Fortnite season when it comes to skins. So, that is saying quite a bit, but still doesn't mean it's the worst skin in the game. But I do think, I would say that the worst Halloween skin in the game at the number 51 spot, Bunny Moon. This skin is just, it just, I thought it was going to grow on me more and more. But ever since 2018, it just has never resonated with me. In fact... My opinion for it has just gotten worse and worse, especially as we've gotten more, more creative and more Halloween skins that make sense. This chick, the colors on her are just all over the place, just looks weird. Her character model is based off one of the worst default skins in the game. And she just, she just reminds me of that girl who's in her pajamas and she's invited to a Halloween party on the last minute. And she only has two minutes to get ready, stays in her pajamas, gets her sister's bunny headband and put some christmas lights over her even though it's not christmas it's just it's all over the place and even for a halloween skin it, it's not boring and people say it's creative i don't see where the creative factor of this skin comes from like anyone anyone who knows how to how to about game arts could make a skin like this and the fact that we got stella in easter who is even worse just doesn't make the skin any better for me so coming at the number 51 spot bunny moon and the number 50 spot we have Bone Boss. So this was one of the four Skull Squad skins come out this year in this Skull Squad pack. I do like the uh, idea of making some skins into Skull designs, even though none of them are some of the best, are going to be some of the best Halloween skins of this year, just because none of them are the most creative, nor are they very original, and Skull Trooper has been kind of overdone. But this one out of the four is the worst and the most useless. Like, a black br burger just looks gross. Like, I don't even use Beef Boss that much. In fact, I never use Beef Boss anymore. So, 
I don't see myself using this skin. It just taking away from the color scheme just takes away from part of Beef Boss's character and adding the skeletal design is just useless. Like, if you're gonna do that, then maybe add a skeletal design on, I don't know, bendy and twisty. <laughs> Why would you wanna do that? It just doesn't make sense. And coming at the number 49 spot, we have Skull Ranger and the number 48 spot, Fish Skull. So two more Skull skins that just do not care for. Skull Trooper has been overdone. Everyone, their mother has either Skull Trooper, Skull Ranger, or one of these Skull skins. And I don't think like how common a skin is makes it bad. I just think that as the games progress, the idea of Skull Trooper has just become more and more outdated. And Skull Ranger, I just think, is even worse than Skull Trooper with that ugly face and the green on her just looks hideous in my opinion. The way the cramped skeletal design looks on the female smaller body to me just looks disgusting and I'd rather the hair not stick out if I'm going to be honest. And Fish Skull, it just, again, I don't see the appeal in giving bones to Fish Stick. It just, and Fish Stick's also been overdone just as much as Skull Trooper. I mean, I do think the face looks kind of interesting, I'll give it that, but still, not the most exciting skin out there, and not one that I'll ever use. Alright, coming at the number 47 spot, we have all of the zombie soccer skins, so I'm not going to rank all of these separately, I'm just going to rank them all as one. Like, even if I think the best one, Decaying Dribbler, might be better than Midfield Monstrosity, I don't know, I can't remember all the names, I still don't think these skins are very worthwhile. They're just the cash grab skins. They're based off soccer skins, and everyone loves soccer skins, so they decided to put Halloween versions of them, and they're really only good to use during Halloween. Other than that, I'd still much prefer to use the original soccer skins, Clinical Crosser, Midfield Maestro, Finesse Finisher, even Poise Playmaker, as overrated as I think she is. Still a lot better than these skins. These skins just, and they don't even have color styles or anything like that, just styles to change the number, which Kind of missed opportunity there, Fortnite, a bit. But even so, I still don't think these skins are ever seen as being great skins in my eyes. At a number 46 spot, we have Peely Bone. And I can agree that this skin definitely gets a little bit too much hate. And it gets a little overlooked just because it's an another version of Peely, sold in the arm shop, overpriced. Because I do think this skin's not bad, actually. I do. It has grown on me a bit. I do like the idea of having half the body as a skeleton. I think it's kind of creepy. I guess just the biggest problem with it is, again, Peely has been overdone, like with Fish Stick and like with Skull Trooper. I don't think it's my favourite Peely. I still slightly prefer the default Peely. And, again, yeah, it is pretty expensive, so I can understand why people hate it for that and why no one, no one wants to buy the skin, except for very few people. Like, if it were up to me, if I weren't buying all the Halloween skins, yeah, I still wouldn't buy the skin. But the built-in emo is pretty sick, not gonna lie. At the number 45 spot, we have... Patch Patroller, and I would say the skin's grown on me slightly since I got it. The green and orange color scheme has uh, has never been, like, my favorite color scheme, to be honest. But I will say it has grown on me. It's just on him. Just, again, like Bunny Moon, he's based off one of the ugliest default skins. I don't like the hat. The vines are just all over the place. It just looks gross. And Patch, who is the female version, is just so, so much better than this guy. He's just... He just looks like a farmer who's got vines all over him. Get out of here. But still, not horrible. We're getting to some alright Halloween skins here already to show how great these skins are. At the number 44 spot, we have Snugs. And I do give credit, this is the first male Cuddle Team Leader skin, and it makes it kind of unique for that. And I do kind of like it for that, but it's one of those things where now that we've got it once, I don't want to see another one again because we already get enough female Cuddle Team Leaders, or Team Leaders as it is, so I don't really want another one because I just think the Cuddle Team Leader is mostly better in the female design. It's just, on the male version, it just kind of looks a bit a bit off character and, and a little bit homosexual. Uh, now, I'm not homophobic, but it's just not for me. I'm sorry. At the number 43 spots, we have Hollow Head. And this skin is just... I, uh, there are some things I like about this skin, and there's some times where I love it, but other times when I hate it. I have a love-hate relationship for this skin. It's essentially just a reskin of Raven, but done worse. I do not like the color of those leaves around his arms and his neck. It just looks kind of gross. But the head, I do think, is the only cool part. The uh, the way the flames come at the head is pretty cool. But personally, in, when it comes to pumpkin heads, I just think having less flames and more pumpkin, more jack-o'-lantern theme is better. Whereas this one, he just looks a bit too too possessed, too pizzazzed with the flames on it. Even though I do think they look kind of cool, I just, 
Definitely my least favorite pumpkin skin, along with Patch Patroller. There are just much better ones above here. And I do not like the color scheme, and I do not like the cape, and again, not very original. At the number 42 spot, we have the iconic and the infamous Skull Trooper. And at the number 41 spot, we have Skull Squad Leader. So both of these, Skull Trooper, obviously one of the first Halloween skins to come out, and Skull Squad Leader is essentially spooky team leader with a skeletal design, and while I do think that these skins are still decent, I just think, yeah, the biggest problem is Skull Trooper has just hasn't aged real well to me. Like, looking back on him, wearing him is kind of like when you go back to wearing the same pajamas you were wearing when you were 10 years old as an 18-year-old. That's what it feels like. So, with that said, though, I do think the inverted style is the better style of Skull Trooper, and I do think Skull Squad Leader is one of the better Skull skins. I do like the idea of her, and even though I am kind of getting tired of Team Leaders, I have also said... Just bring it on with the team leaders. Keep bringing them in if you're really going to bring in more. And then just bring even more. Because I feel like it's that overload of team leaders that's going to make people who already don't like them, like them a little bit. Because there might be that one team leader that comes in that someone's like, oh yeah, this one's kind of cool. Kind of like how I feel with bundles. But then again, I do think this skin, when compared to Spooky Team Leader, who she is the reskin of, I still think that Spooky Team Leader is a little bit better. But still... And I do think that's not quite the best Skull Squad skin, which we'll get to soon. But yeah, and Skull Trooper is Skull Trooper. Everyone and their mother has it. Everyone and their mother has one of the Skull skins by now. And it's just kind of been overdone. Alright, moving on to number 40 spot. We have Spooky Team Leader right above Skull Squad Leader. This skin has grown on me a little bit. Again, I do like the color green. I like the green stripes and a bit of orange. It's just the face looks kind of weird. The green around it kind of looks like vomit around the face which doesn't really sit well with me but with that said i do think this is a solid team leader skin a solid halloween team leader skin not the best team leader but not the worst either i think it's fine at the number 39 spot we have haze so this skin dropped quite a bit this skin <laughs> it dropped a lot i wanted to put it higher i used to want to put it higher but over time i've just seen it more and more it's just an average gothic halloween skin like the first style it's fine it's clean it's just it hasn't got much going on for it to me. It's just kind of boring. And the fact that it comes out every month, some would find it hard to judge if this is even a Halloween skin. But I did include it as a Halloween skin because it did come out during Halloween. And the second style of this definitely does speak Halloween more so than the first style. I do like the color scheme of the second style more, but it's just those horns. They look kind of plasticky. And sometimes I'm all right with them. Other times they just look kind of gross coming out of the forehead. Just no. At the number 38 spot, we have... Arachne Kocha. And this skin, this is one of the three skins from the Crypt Crashes pack. And I do think it's the weakest one. I don't know why. Maybe it's because it's the most similar to Arachne and maybe without the mask. I don't like how big her eyes are. Just That's probably the part that gets me the most about this skin. And the hat looks very weirdly shaped. I like the eyes that's on the hat, the spider eyes, but the shape of it just looks weird. But I do like the interactivity that the dress has. She kind of looks like she's wearing a blazer, like she's at college. I don't know. I think, I think it's all right. At the number 37 spot, we have all the Ghostbuster skins. So we're just going to have all 10 of them here. No particular order. My personal favorites are PK Ranger is my favorite male. And Spectre and Spectre is my favorite female. Like, even though there are some that are worse, I don't really care for those. I'm just ranking them all here. Yeah, they're fine. I like the idea of bringing in Ghostbusters. I like the uniforms they're wearing, the Ghostbusters symbol, the tube around their thigh. It's just a missed opportunity for... Uh, there were a lot of missed opportunities for this Ghostbusters. Like, these ones, why couldn't they be based off the actual Ghostbuster characters from the movies? Why didn't they have a music pack? Why is there no emotes? The backlink could have been reactive. And where's the Marshmallow Man skin? Come on, Epic. But still, I do think for what they are, it is pretty good. And I'm sure Ghostbuster fans will still really like these skins. But even they'd agree that there were some missed opportunities. And I'm no big Ghostbusters fan, but I do appreciate, I do think it's kind of smart to add this set during Halloween. And that's why I've included them as Halloween skins on this list. At the number 36 spot, we have Violet. And the number 35 spot, Bone Ravage. So Bone Ravage, I do think, is the best Skull Squad skin out of them. I love the way she looks in the bones. It actually really suits her in the bird design. The mask, I do think, looks pretty cool. It kind of, with its paint, it really looks like it's made from raid from bone the mask and in some ways probably slightly better than the original ravage 
And I do think, and while I do like the concept of the pack, adding skull skins, skull reskins, it's not the most original, yes, and that's why they're not getting the very high rating. But I do think they did execute the best on this skin, and I think this skin is better than both Skull Trooper and Skull Ranger, and every other skin in the pack. And as for Violet, I do think I like the, uh, of course I like the idea of having ultraviolet skin with the mask on. It's kind of got me vibes of some kind of like undead, dark, skeletal person. I just think they did it a lot better on Blacklight. To me, the open jacket on this skin, because it's got the ribs on the jacket, the rib cage on the jacket, and because the jacket's open, it's essentially not in line with her actual ribs, and that kind of ruins the vibe. She's also got more skin showing, and the mask was plastic, so she looks more like a person wearing pajamas more so than Blacklight. She looks more like a person than Blacklight does, and that kind of ruins the vibe a bit for me. But then again, that's just my opinion. Blacklight, Blacklight's way better, though. At the number 34 spot, we have Dead Fire. So this skin, it's got a legacy. It is a pinnacle skin in the way. It was the first reactive skin to ever come out. But I feel like at this point, Dante and Rosa, who are also reactive and came out around the same time as this in 2018, have become a bit more popular. And I do think they did it better on those skins. Though I do like the progressive nature of this skin. I just don't really like the way he starts off. I like it when he gets purple and I love it when he gets the green flames. I love green and purple. And he does look a bit like McCree, I guess, but still not one that I, not one that's for me. Just that's all. But I do think it's really cool for what it is. At the number 33 spot, we have Party Trooper. And this is essentially a neon skull trooper. And if you were to count this as all the skull squad skins, probably the best. Because I think the way Skull Trooper looks in the neon design, with a blue neon skeletal design, with a beating heart, I think it looks really cool in my opinion. But we got to talk about the J Balvin at its style. The J Balvin and style, while it's not as Halloween-esque theme, I do think it's better than the original style. It's got a lot of colours going on and some nice detail. Sure, it doesn't have the beating heart and sure, it doesn't look as much like Skull Trooper. But I guess that makes it a bit more original than Skull Trooper. And you got it for free if you got the skin. You didn't have to attend the J Balvin concert. The concert was really good, I would say. So, I do think... So, yeah, I do think Party Trooper, both edit styles are really good. But I will say the J Balvin style is a little bit better. At the number 32 spot, we have Scourge, and out of all these skins, this is the only skin that I do not own, and that's because Plague and Scourge of the, the uh, Plague Doctor set, or the Grim Medicine set, have not come out this Halloween. They have not come out since January because of coronavirus, and because they just depict so much, even though, like, they, they're skins that were around during the plague in the 1800s, because the coronavirus is essentially a plague, Bringing them out would be just wrong, so I can understand. And while I do own Plague, I don't own Scourge, and that's just because I like Plague more. I think Scourge is still good, and I think these skins are still pretty scary and pretty grim, as the set says. And I love the uh, the beak-like mask, which I know what they are. They've got the stuff, the straw, the medicines, the herbs stuffed inside them, so that the uh, people wearing them do not inhale the Plague, because they knew very little about it. So I think that just adds to the scariness. I just think they did it better on play because the jacket on Scourge kind of ruins it a little bit. It covers a lot of detail. I think Scourge might be a little bit more historically accurate. But again, I like the bigger beak. I like the details, the beakers, and the hat that Plague has. All right, at the number 31 spot, we have Sagan. And this skin, it was the first Halloween skin we got this season. And while it's nothing special, it's not scary. For what it is, the color scheme of it is traditional. It's... It's an example of just a very nice, very simple, very clean, traditional, and casual Halloween skin. And I think it's really good for what it is. I like the beanie. I like the detail on the jacket. And I like the simplicity of it. But still, if you're talking about Halloween skins, like pure, scary, amazing Halloween skins, it doesn't compete with some of the others above it. But for what it is, it is nice. At the number 30 spot, we have Straw Ops. And I do love the Scarecrow skins. And I love how scary the skin is. I just think Heyman's better, and I just think the sunflowers are a little excessive on her because I'm not a huge fan of flowers, personally. At the number 29 spot, we have Brainiac, and this skin has grown on me a lot. Like, I still don't really care for the default edit style. I do think it's a, the zombie-style Ghoul Trooper is a lot better. But the Ghoul Trooper style of this skin, I think they did really nicely. I love the way the green, it looks more clean on him, more fresh on him, instead of dirtier. The pink, I love green and pink mixed together, or green and purple. So I think it looks really good. And the pink hair, the just because he has short hair, I think the pink hair adds a no, is a nice touch to him. And I think it makes this skin from bad 
to actually pretty good. So I would say, I would probably go as far as say that the uh, Ghoul Trooper edit style Brainiac is slightly better than the default style Ghoul Trooper. But as a skin, I still think Ghoul Trooper is better because of the zombie edit style and the OG pink edit style. And speaking of which, I forgot to mention Skull Trooper. I don't really care for his purple style. I think it's my least favorite style of a Skull Trooper. So I'm not basing it just off the OG, guys. I'm not basing it just off how rare it is. And at the number 28 spot, we have Midnight Dusk. And the number 27 spot, Night Surf Bomber. And these are both the two other skins from the Crypt Crashes pack. And I gotta say, for what you did, well done, Epic. I mean, sure, again, they're not the most creative skins. They're not the most original. They're not the scariest Halloween skins. I do think Midnight Dusk, I think she looks completely different to Dusk. I think without all the vampire clothing and with just normal shorts and with a hat and sunglasses, I think she looks really good. And the Night Surf Bomber, I feel like she's different enough to both Dark Bomber and Beach Bomber. She's kind of a mixture between those two, but I feel like she's different enough to both those skins to call her a different skin. And again, I like the uh, simple clothing. She's wearing very, very clean skin indeed. Really like it. When it comes to the styles, I prefer having the glasses on Midnight Dusk, even though you cannot see them in game or barely see them. While on Night Surf Bomber, I like her without the glasses, personally. But it's always nice to have options to take them off. At the number 26 spot, we have Ghoul Trooper. So, the fact that Ghoul Trooper, one of the most popular Halloween skins, is coming on here, and a lot of kids are going to be angry with me of this placement, this might show you how hard it was to make this list, because I still think Ghoul Trooper is a great skin. Don't get me wrong. I love the pink edit style. I love the zombie style. I just think that, again, over time, it hasn't aged the best. I mean, it's aged better than Skull Trooper, and I still think it's better than Skull Trooper. I've always thought it's better than Skull Trooper, but because it was an old, it's a little outdated, and I think because of that, as, like, Epic have improved more and more on their art team, their art skills, making skins, I just think they've made a lot more better Halloween skins since then. But for what she is, I still think she's a great skin, and still a skin that everyone should have. So you can have that, get that thought into you that you only liked it partly because it was OG. Like, let's be honest, most of us didn't like it as much once we got our hands on it and it was no longer OG. But the ones who genuinely like it have a right to like it, and I do still like it, but just not quite as much. At the number 25 spot, we have Rosa. And this is one of the Day of the Dead skins, is a female version. I think the Day of the Dead skins are really, 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 really cool. I love the glow-in-the-dark feature they have at night time. Makes sense with their theme. I love the colors on them. I love the theme. I love the movie Coco. I think they're great. With that said, though, I just think they did it better on Dante. Moving on to the number 24 spot, we have Ravina, one of the more newer skins from this year. And I do think she's basically like a more gothic and a bit more like punk version, if you will, of Haze and a much better version of Haze. I like the colors she's going on, the detail she's got on her clothing, yet it's not like excessive amounts of detail. It makes it look like there's more detail than what's actually going on because of the nice blend of colors on this skin. I like the tattoos, I love the glasses, the horns are actually really cool. The glow style, I think, looks sick. I love the way the purple glows and the uh, the green hand, the way her hands glow green, the nice gradients. I think it's really good. And I also like the way the green skin pops down the no glow at style. So it's because of that. Because the green's lighter on the no glow at style. I don't know which style I like more. I really like both styles and I do really like this skin. At the number 23 spot, we have Jawbreaker. So this is one of those few underrated sweat skins I like to call. This skin has the qualities of sweat skin. It's simple, it's clean. Yeah, I love the detail, I love the socks. I like the shorts, the stripes, the uh, the sort of camo design it's got on it, the little bits of pink on her, but not excessive, the hair, the headphones. I think it looks really good for what she is and would be a sweaty skin, I think, if it were to come out monthly, but because it doesn't come out often, I don't think it is, but for I like, like, I still like sweat skins, but it's just when the community overuse them where they become where I tend not to use them as much because like I like to use skins that are more unique skins that you don't see that often to stand out more on the battlefield unless and I'm not a real competitive player um but this one is a more underrated one so I love to use it and then of course there's a sweat skins that I hate that I'll always hate like dynamo but this one is a really good one and a great simple casual Halloween skin yet has a theme going on with her well done epic at the number 22 spot, we have Grave, and the number 21 spot, Katrina. And I think these are going to be the only two male and female counterpart Halloween skins that will be ranked right beside each other because I think they're both 
just as good as each other. I love Grave. I love the uh, how he kind of looks like he was some kind of Mexican biker before he died. I love the skinny jeans, the bit of red he's got. And Katrina, I love it more for the detail on her head, the uh, bullets on her chest that look like the man bones. And I think both these skins are really good, really scary, and what you call good Halloween skins. Pure, pure skins that look like skins that would never be made outside of Halloween. They look like pure Halloween skins and they look scary and they both look great. At the number 20 spot, we have Big Mouth. And this skin is, again, what you would call a pure out there Halloween skin. It's disgusting. That mouth is humongous, but I think it looks sick because of that. The tongue is just crazy. I love the beakers on him, the arcane theme he's got. I love how the mouth how huge it is, he, well, hence why it's called Big Mouth, it continues going down his chest, and you can see the teeth, how it's so sort of stitched together. That, to me, and how it blends in the stitching design of the clothing, that, to me, looks sick. This is what you call a unique skin, Fortnite going over the boundaries when it comes to a skin, but doing it to make a pure, scary, creative Halloween skin, and I love it for that. At the number 19 spot, we have Headlock. And this skin, again... What you would call a very creative Halloween skin, yet at the same time, one that's not too all over the place. I really like the jacket. I love the jeans. I love the chains. I love the cage he's got on his head. The eyes look scary. The smoke coming out of it, I think, is really cool. Overall, this is another very solid, very well-executed, and competitive-friendly Halloween skin. I think it's competitive-friendly, at least. At the number 18 spot, we have Wrath. And yes, I can say the edit styles might be a little useless because you can barely see them because it's in the jacket. With that said, even without the edit styles, I still think this is a really good Halloween skin. It's essentially a mummy mixed with Western cowboy with the coat and the hat. And while besides the colors, it may be a fairly boring color scheme, but I think design-wise, he looks really great, really scary. And I do think I still do pay attention to the color style you're using because I tend to use different color back blinks to go with that color scheme. So... Even though you can't really see it, then make a color scheme out of it. So you can do a lot with this skin, really. And I love it. And I, and I do love the theme of it. At the number 17 spot, we have Patch. And this skin, I was a bit iffy about before. But now that she's come out, and now that I've used her, she has really grown on me. And I think she looks really good. I think the orange head style is really good. She looks adorable, like a pumpkin. With the curved skirt, the vines, and the pumpkin head. She essentially a girl who looks like who could turn into a pumpkin if she were to crouch. And I think it's uh, I think it's really adorable and great. And the white edit style does look a bit less like a pumpkin. And I like using that without the pumpkin head because, because I don't feel like I feel like it's worth sacrificing a little bit of ADS visibility if you want her to in a full character look like a pumpkin. And I feel like the color scheme, while I love the white, you lose a bit of that character of her looking like a pumpkin when you put the white style on versus the orange. So I just rather take away the head so I can have a bit more visibility, and because I really like the seeds in her hair, that's actually a really cool feature, and the vines are not as excessive, not as all over the place as Patch Patroller, and she actually looks like a pumpkin, whereas Patch Patroller is just a man who farms pumpkins and too dirty, yeah, who cares, Patch, really good skin though. At the number 16 spot, we have Plague, and this is the male Scourge, again, I do think these skins are great, I love this scary nature of them, mixed with the historical theme they got provided, the detail on him is really cool. I just wish coronavirus would end so that they can bring these skins back. At the number 15 spot, we have Bubba Yaga, and this skin is insanely detailed, insanely creative, and overall insanely absurd, but I love it for that. It's uh, not a skin that I see a lot of people wearing, and I don't even see myself wearing it a lot, but because it's a skin that's got so much attention to detail, it's a skin that also combines scary nature with a scary real life story of, in Russian folklore. If you read about Baba Yaga, you'll know. I'm not going to say it here. But it, she's very, it's very grim. And this is overall very grim, very menacing, very terrifying skin. And we get to use a grandma in Fortnite. That's uh, something we've never gotten to do. And I think it's great. I think really, really good. Really good. At the number 14 spot, we have Hemlock. And this is created because it was the first skin where we could ever change the edit style in game, and that's still, I don't think we've had that enough, to be honest with you. We've had it a bit with skins like Vix and uh, the Good Doctor, who also came out this year. But I think, as a witch skin, I think she's really good. I like the I like the green and pink color scheme on the first style, and the lime green and black. It's just that face, man. That face on the second style looks terrifying, but I like it for that. If, if Hemlock, 
Overall, again, another example of a really creative, really fantastically made Halloween skin. At the number 13 spot, we have Black Light. And this skin, while I wasn't a huge fan of it when it first came out, I, I love the skeletal design on him. He's like a way better version of Purple Skull Trooper. I like how he's got more detail on him. I, I love the way the purple pops out on him nicely, yet at the same time, not so much to the point where it's just in your face like on Purple Skull Trooper. I like the diagonal pattern on it from the ribs on the left side to the leg on the right side. The ultraviolet looks amazing. The mask looks creepy. The mask looks really good, whereas on Violet, I think it looks a bit too cheap. And the closed jacket on this case makes him look better because he's more covered and he looks more like a person or less like a person and more like a figure who is someone from another world. And I think because of that, they did it really well on this skin. And I think he's, a, and again, another example of a great Halloween skin that at the same time is a skin that's sick enough to use outside of Halloween. A lot of these skins I will use outside of Halloween, but this one, I love the ultraviolet color scheme, man. And the way it stands out, really nice. At the number 12 spot, we have Grimoire. And this is a skin that came out this year. And again, this is a, a skin that's very grim, as the name suggests. It's kind of gothic themed, yet it's also not a simple gothic themed skin. It's got quite a bit going on for it, and yet and yet it's quite unique. It looks scary. I love the hair, love the gas mask on a hip, the unique color scheme. The hood up style, I think, is really cool. I love the... Uh, I actually really like how it reminds me of the hood of Caster with that little gnome, gnome shaped points on it. The uh, the reddish pink and the black does remind me a bit of the color skin of Riley, which is a skin that I hate. But still, it's nothing like Riley. It's creative. It's scary. It's grim. It's gothic. It's punk. It's got, it's got what you would want for like a Halloween skin. An example of a Halloween skin that's like quite detailed, but at the same time not detailed to the point where it's all over the place. It's great. At the number 11 spot, we have Punk. And at the number 10 spot, Jack Gordon. So, both these, I think, are the two best pumpkin skins. And it was hard to pick who was better at them. But at the end of the day, I think I had to go with Jack Gordon just because I love that third edit style. The one with the gold pumpkin head and the green eyes. Green and gold, you know how much I love it. Mixed with the suit. And I've always really liked Jack Gordon. I think he's a really funny skin. Really creative. I love the pumpkin stickers on his suit. And I love suited characters. And the pumpkin head, it's not like hollow head where it's got the flames popping out of it to the point where it's just too much. It looks nice on him. And as for Punk, he's got a bit of flames in his eyes, but I love the candles, the way they look in him. I like the way they move around. The jacket on him looks very clean, very nice, orange and black. I love the shoes. And I love the theme he's got. He's essentially like the high school bully of the pumpkin heads. He's called Punk. So he's a punk. He's a pumpkin punk, a high school bully. And I love it for that. Overall, I think both of these two are great skins, and Jack Gordon definitely made even better with his new edit styles. Well done, Epic. At the number nine spot, we have Hey Man. Hey Man. The male Scarecrow skin, I think it's a lot better than Straw Ops. It doesn't have the flowers going all over it to kind of ruin it. It actually looks scarier. I love the hat on it, the purple, the more amount of the straw that's on him to make the clothing instead of just all pure straw. I think it looks great, and I think they did the Scarecrow skins better on Heyman than on Straw Ops, in my opinion. At the number eight spot, we have the Good Doctor, aka Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. And this is what you call another great Halloween skin that's combined with a novel, a scary-themed novel, historical. It's got what you want on it. The first style, I think he looks nice. The Doctor, I love the suit. I like the Character model, I think it's great. And the emote to change into Mr. Hyde is sick. That's a, it's so good. It's still like, it's still like hard to believe that they did something like this. Like they already did it with Hemlock where you change the style and game, but this completely changes it. And in terms of that feature, it blows Hemlock out of the water just in terms of that feature because it completely changes his look, his size, his style, his personality, it changes everything. It, almost everything. And again, I love the I love the hide style for the hat. I like the coat. I like the needles. Sure, it is bulky. It is very bulky. But if you've got a skin like this, who cares? Who the fuck cares? Get out of here, sweats. We we like the, the these are the sort of skins that we like. Creative skins that you'll never see again. This is a skin that you'll never see a skin like this again because of how amazing it is. You won't. Uh, moving on to the number seven spot, we have Teeth. 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 My man, Teeth, the Nosh Head. And 
while it is still a goofy skin, I love it for how goofy it is. It's a skin that's like scary, goofy, and cute all at the same time. I mean, he's running on stilts. He's wearing prison clothes. He was creating the science lab. He's got the pink blob for the head. He's got no eyes. How can you not love it? Uh, moving on to number six spot, we have a fairly overlooked skin of this year, I would say. Victoria Saint. And this is what I call a skin that's creative. It's scary. It's very Halloween themed. It's got some nice detail, quite a bit of detail. Yeah, at the same time, it's still quite simple and quite clean. It's one that I think a lot of sweat plays. It is a competitive friendly skin, I think. And yet I love the detail going on it, the black and gold, the Western theme mixed with a vampire hunter. The hat I think looks great. And if you don't like it, you can take it off. I love the uh, little blood grenade or whatever it is to use blood to attract vampires. I think some of the details in his skin are absolutely amazing. They could have stretched his skin to an epic really. I think there's that much going on with the skin yet at the same time, it's so simple and so clean. And I think I can't describe, they did a great job with this one. Really, really good job in fact. All right, now we are coming into the top five spots. And at number five spots, we have Delirium. And this skin is, it's a wizard mixed with a ram. It's a, uh, it's incredibly scary and it's incredibly creative. It's incredibly unique. And the horns I think look sick. The coat, the detail, the uh, outlining on it looks sick. The color scheme I think looks great. I love the book on his hip. I love the arcane theme. He's got the evil arcane Harry Potter like theme. And it, it's a ram. He's a, uh, really gives me Doctor Strange vibes, really gives me Slipknot vibes. He gives me a lot. I love it. I absolutely love this skin. It's uh, really grown on me. And I think it gets a bit overlooked for that back bling. And while the back bling is absolutely sick, I love the back bling as well. And would also earn a place in the top five best Halloween back blings if I were to do that list. I still think the skin gets overlooked because of that. And I think the skin should not be overlooked. I think the skin is amazing, just like the back bling. At the number four spot, we have Willow. And this skin, this is what you call a scary Halloween skin, but on a different level. Not just scary, it's horrifying. It's nightmare fuel, this skin. It's, it's one style, it's a live doll as a person, which you would see from a horror movie like Annabelle, even though it was a trash movie. It, it's still like, it's still got the themes of a horror movie. It would still like, there would still be some parts that would scare you if you're not the most secure when it comes to watching horror films like myself and me, I get terrified of the paranormal and this skin really gives me paranormal vibes, especially the style without the doll head, which I think is the better style. I love, I just love, she looks like a ghost. She looks like an innocent girl who was killed and that's probably a bit too grim, probably a bit too dark to have in Fortnite, but it's, it looks great. And I love the dress. It really looks like a dress that a spirit would wear, the little bit of pink on it and the hair. The smoke coming out of her arms to make her look more like a spirit. I think, I think it's all amazing. This is what you call a truly good Halloween skin. At the number three spot, we have my man Dante, and this this is the perfect, in my opinion, the perfect idea of a festive, festive theme skin. It's not exactly a Halloween skin. It's a Day of the Dead skin, but I could not help put myself put it up this high because. It's one of my favorite skins in the game. I love the skeletal design. It's kind of a mixture between Skull Trooper and Mask Fury, but it's a hundred times better than both those skins. I love how clean he looks. I love the colors on him. The detail is amazing. I love the hat. I love the shoulder pads, the glow in the dark feature. He also changes colors. Like, yeah, how can you not like this skin? Unless you're a person who doesn't like to stand out in the dark. And while I would like to see a feature with these skins where you can have the reactive feature turn off, where if you wanted to, you can just have the way they look in the daytime, even at nighttime, because I like, I think I like the way the skin looks in the daytime slightly more, but I still really like them in the nighttime, and I think the glow in the dark feature is insanely good. I think it's so creative, and I think they did it better on him than they did on Rosa, in my opinion. At the number two spot, the second best Halloween skin of all time, and my favorite Halloween skin of this year, Nash. And this skin, this skin is godly terrifying. This skin is godly scary. It's Willow, one of my favorite Halloween skins already, I think they topped it with Nash. I think he's completely different to Willow in a way. Willow looks like the innocent girl who was murdered. Nash, he looks like, he looks evil. He looks like the guy who probably killed her. He, he he's incredibly terrifying. The way his stance is, he's got his face down. He just looks like one of those skins, like Slender Man with a face who would just look at you, 
with that scary look. And again, I love the hair, I love the suit. Very slim, I like the shoes, the smoke still coming out of his hands. The heart he's got on to add a bit of red. I like the gray and black stripes he's got on his suit and the uh, the detail that he's got on the rips and the uh, shoulders. I love how it looks like there's a bat wing around his shoulders. I think this this is this is what you call the definition of a perfect ultra scary Halloween skin. It's scary. It's slim. It's yet yeah, detailed as well. It's it's and I think yeah better than Willow. I do think Willow is a little better with the mask on than him with the mask, but I think. He has his true form without the mask, in my opinion. And I think he looks amazing. But moving on to the number one spot. The best Halloween skin of all time. And a lot of you might be disappointed with this, but I'm still standing at Chaos Agent. So maybe some of you wouldn't call Chaos Agent the best Halloween skin because he's not a Halloween skin anymore. He's part of the story. But hear me out. He came out Halloween last year. He has all the qualities of a Halloween skin very well. And he's part of the same set as Teeth, Jawbreaker, Blacklight, Katrina, and Willow, who are all part of the Final Reckoning set and are all exclusive to Halloween. And he kind of has his own storyline, unlike Teeth and Jawbreaker, as well as uh, even Willow. And he's got everything. Great color scheme, check. He's scary, check. Halloween vibes, check. Slim, check. Clean, check. He's the perfect Halloween skin. There's no reason to not like this skin. Even That's why even he's popular in the competitive scene, because... I don't think they a lot of sweats really care when it comes to truly good skins, but this is an example of a truly great skin that everyone can love. How can you not like Chaos Agent? He's perfect. And that's going to pretty much wrap up this long video of all the Halloween skins. So if you guys enjoyed, let me know with a like, comment, subscribe, tell me what your favorite Halloween skins are worth for this year. Tell me what your favorite skin is of all time. Do you agree with this list? Do you disagree? Let me know. And this is going to end the series of Halloween 2020 as we move towards Christmas. And I think I will be buying all the Christmas skins and doing combos for all the Christmas skins, old and new, and then ranking them all at the end. So stay tuned for that. Until then, guys, I'll see you next time. Catch you later. Bye-bye.